So ask yourself, what is success? What is success to you? What are things that you strive for? Set some goals. What are your goals? What are your priorities? Stay on top of your game. You know what I'm saying? I want one with no um sprinkles. <laughs> I want one with sprinkles. That tastes kind of good though, right, Gigi? Yeah, it does look good. Right. <laughs> Fellas, y'all girl be getting mad at y'all and then she tries not to talk to you for a long time. How long she can go without talking to you for like an hour, two hours? How long she can go? Kelly can go about a whole hour and 20 minutes without talking to me. And then she gotta forgive me. You get on my nerves. Why get on your nerves, baby? Cause. She be getting mad because I ain't got no patience with these kids. <laughs> getting on my damn nerves. Fresh air teeth. Do, 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 do. Show the baby, not me. I like your eyelashes. So y'all already know what time it is. Chattel beans in the mix. Right, y'all. Yummy. I need a lot more time. I'll cover that. Look at my husband over there. And look how handsome he looks. Baby, turn around. No, what you Dress for success today, man. Turn yeah. around. Turn around. You dress for the job you want. Okay, turn around. Give what? me a little spin around. Man, I ain't doing. Baby, all. please. Please, I will get my dollars. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Say hi. What's daddy doing? Daddy. So I usually put a bib on Houston, but he takes it off himself. So there's just like no point. And then he gets mad. But we're about to hang out outside and barbecue. And wait till Game of Thrones. So you feeling better today, Houston? <coughs> so like I said, man, I'm dressed for success today. You know the definition of success? What is success to you? The definition of success is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. So if you set out with an aim to do something and you complete it, that's success. If your purpose is to do something and you do that, that is success. We should go buy that little five dollar pool. Why right now? No. Walmart. Put them in it. I don't want to go to Walmart. You can go. I think you'll enjoy it. I feel I'm too spiffy to go to Walmart right now, man. Yeah. Oh, what we cooking in here? So we cooking right now, man. It's a little something, something. Kelly wants to go buy these kids a little five dollar hey. swimming pool. For him or for them? Yeah, for the baby. Oh, for the baby. 
You know them big old kids going to try to get in there too. So do I get the big one? What? But like, does he go in there in his diaper or what? Or just make it? Let him free ball it. <laughs> he going to commando in that swimming pool, man. Right? Can you pool? Say you ready to go skinny dipping. You're so good. <laughs> I think I'm going to go get it. Check out her lashes, though. Look like a bunch of spiders having a meeting. Hey, y'all make sure y'all go to, uh, what is it? It's, so y'all make sure y'all go to SultrySexyEyesBoutique.com to get your lashes and be popping. Oh yeah, I want to give a shout out to Pedro Valadez. Happy G-Day, man. Salute, know what I'm saying? Don't do it too big today, man. Happy Cinco de Mayo, all y'all out there. My boy Roly, he from Mexico, man. He a Mexican for real, for real. He said that Cinco de Mayo is not even a real Mexican holiday. He said that's an American-made holiday. Well, I'll be down. You want to take Houston? No. Nope. So you got to define your own success, man. You got to set a goal, put your mind to it, and complete the task. And you too will be successful. Now, even if your task is, you know, you want to grow up and be a school teacher, and you become that school teacher, then hey, you've made your success. For me, Ever since I was a little boy, eight or nine years old, I always wanted to be a rapper. A cold game spitter, you know what I'm saying? And back then, when I was eight or nine years old, rapping wasn't really mainstream. It wasn't like I wanted to be a famous superstar, rich and famous. No, I just wanted to be a rapper that spit cold rhymes. That's what I wanted to do for a living. So, now I'm grown, grown as fuck, and I am that cold ass game spitter, you know what I'm saying? To me, that is success. I ain't no millionaire, but I'm able to live off of doing something that I wanted to do ever since a child, you know what I'm saying? Ever since a little boy, I wanted to be a rapper. Now I'm a grown ass man, rapper, raising my family, out some shit that I say, Dada. off the tip of the tongue, you know what I'm talking about? That's success. Put your mind to something, man, and go after it. Don't stop till you accomplish your dream. What you gonna wanna be when you grow up, Houston? With well, a name like Houston Don Juan, you destined for greatness, boy. My boy Gold tells me, telling me all the time that I should be a lot further in my career and I'm content and I'm too comfortable and I just be chilling at the house too much and I need to get out there more and do songs with bigger artists. My goal was never to be famous. I just wanted to be able to make a living off doing something that I love to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you don't see me at all in the mix everywhere. I don't do all that, you know what I'm saying? Because as long as I'm able to pay my bills, I'm doing something that I love to do, to me, I done made it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to wake up and do no nine to five. And I ain't talking down on nobody that got a nine to five. It's better to have a nine to five than not be doing shit with your life. But if you want to be a rapper, and make a living off rapping, I suggest you master your craft and really, really perfect your craft. So when you do get your opportunity, you be able to show up. You know what I'm saying? Like when I first got my opportunity and they put me in the studio around the right people, I showed my ass, you know what I'm saying? But it was because of years of really practicing and mastering my craft. I remember when I was 12, 13 years old, man, I had a notebooks, stacks of notebooks of raps. I used to write raps every single day. In school, after school, that's all I did. So I had stacks of them. And one day my parents came to my room and threw them hoes away and I was pissed. They got to reading them and saw what I was talking about and what I was writing and my dad threw all that shit away. I was pissed. But hey man, they couldn't stop it. You know what I'm saying? It was just something that was destined to be. You can't stop what was destined to be. That's what it's all about, man. Being able to take care of your family, pay your bills, and eat good on Sunday. Yeah, dig. Them fajitas might be ready. The chicken take a little bit longer than the fajitas. Kingston then be getting mad when I pour beer on top of the barbecue. I tell them, man, you ain't gonna be able to taste it, man. Oh, you know the fight with Canelo and Jacob? I wanna watch it. Cause my friend, his name's Eli, came at my door like at eight o'clock was talking about, oh, you would've come watch the fight with us? We're having a big old party. And I was like, yeah. So my dad's like, I come to my, I go to my dad and ask him and then, what did you say? 
I told him, if I can't go party, you can't go party either, boy. You With better that... sit your ass down somewhere. Dad, you're toxic. You're toxic. Old school little swimming pool. Hold up, baby. Did I do it just now? Yeah. You see it? All right, fill it up, King. I got this. So ask yourself, what is success? What is success to you? What are things that you strive for? Set some goals. What are your goals? What are your priorities? Stay on top of your game. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh my poor Gigi, you don't feel good? Fix your hair. You don't feel good, Gigi? Oh. Just when we thought that everything was good and gravy because Houston's feeling better, another one starts feeling sick. Oh, my Gigi. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Tomorrow's Monday for y'all to have to go back to work. Um, y'all make sure y'all wake up with a positive mindset. Make sure that your energy is set very, very high and nobody brings it down. Um, don't settle for anything less than just good energy, all right? Um, we love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Oh. Jesus. I just took a mean shit. Jesus Christ, Christian. <laughs> you don't want to go up in there, baby. I know. I Tell me why I just walked up in the restroom and he had the door open, right? So I didn't know he was in there. <laughs> and he scared the living hell out of me. Is that even a saying? Live in hell? I don't know. I don't know either. Scared there. the living daylights out of you. It scared the crap out of me, okay? Houston. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm rolling in the road, but we ain't gotta hit the movies. Casing in the bag and that nigga watching the goonies. I ain't a fabricator. I'm a paper maker. I gotta say a prayer, Lord, I know I shouldn't have made it.